everyone. Thanks for stopping by this week. I was counting up earlier how many episodes I've done that involve t-shirt uh, reconstruction projects. And there's actually been 11 of them that I've done. And many of them didn't use the shirt sleeves. And so I hope you've been saving your sleeves and saving your scraps because today I'm going to show you how to make a little drawstring bag out of your shirt sleeves. And this bag is so practical you can use it to put um, first aid items in, you can keep game pieces in it, you can take it on road trips for your kids to have something to keep organized, or you can put it in your purse, your diaper bag, you can keep um, your makeup in it, you can use it for just about anything. And it's simple, it's easy, and it's basically free because you're just using pieces that you had left from other projects you've done. And so I'll show you how to make a drawstring t-shirt sleeve bag. For this project you'll need a t-shirt sleeve, a safety pin, a pair of scissors, scrap fabric, pins, thread, an iron, and a ruler. Start by cutting out a one inch wide strip of fabric from one of your t-shirt scraps. Also cut out any sort of design that you want on your bag. Using your ruler, cut a rectangle out of your sleeve. You can make this bag as large or as small as your sleeve will allow. I've chosen to make mine as big as I can. Trace around the ruler and cut out on those lines. Iron the fold. Then open up your rectangle so that the good side is up. And pin on your design. Take into account the fact that the fold will have no seam allowance, but the other side will. So position your um, design a little bit closer to the fold than the other edge. Pen it down and sew it on. I do this by lining up the edge of my presser foot with the edge of my Red Cross. I also like to sew around the design just for a little bit of extra depth. Again, by lining up my presser foot with the edge. Refold your rectangle along the fold line and pin the two open sides, but not the hemmed edge of the sleeve. And sew along those two lines. Remember to back stitch at the beginning and ending of your seam. Trim off the corner and the top hem area and turn your bag right side out. Iron your bag. Then clip small holes on the inside of the hem near the sewn edge. Be careful to only clip through the inside layer and not the outer part. Then take your one inch strand of t-shirt, pull it so it curls on itself, and put a safety pin in one end and feed it through your casing. Trim to your desired length and tie a knot in both ends. And you've made yourself a 100% recycled drawstring bag. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's project. I love making this bag so much. I've actually made nine of these by now. I started um, a couple of weeks ago. I made a whole bunch the first couple of days and then I thought it would be really fun to show everyone on here. So I just made another one and I have one sleeve left so I'm going to make one more bag. And um, so I'm using mine, I've got some jewelry in one right now and the other ones I just have sitting around. But um, once you learn how to make the bag you can actually use it for other purposes. You can take a kid sized t-shirt, turn it upside down and just cut it off right under the sleeves. and make a drawstring bag out of it using the original hem as the casing and then you can even add straps to it and it'll be a little backpack for uh, a little kid or for say like a gym bag you can throw your t-shirt and your shorts in it and head off to the gym with your own unique little drawstring bag and so I hope you like this project and use it for all of your bag needs and scrap using needs and um, don't forget to go to whitneysews.blogspot.com to check out more projects that I'm working on and that I find on 
the internet and uh, just cool things I find to post. And subscribe here on YouTube and I will see you next week with another project. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.